Good morning. We are hitching up to leave from the Badlands. Last night, the wind was just howling. So that's one thing to watch out for here is the wind is incredible. So between the teenagers in the tent that were swearing up a storm and the howling wind, yeah, didn't get a whole lot of sleep. Today's gonna be a hot mess. It's gonna be about 97. We have to go into Rapid City. So luckily we're really near a city and lots of supplies. So we're running low on everything, you know, and then we'll see the Black Hills. Sunroof shot. <laughs> no zoom. Wow. We are really close. That's probably what the needles is. Eddie, they look like needles to you? I don't know. I think this scenic highway might kick the crap out of the Badland scenic highway. What do you guys think? Yes. Badlands is interesting, but it's really just, you know, God's mud pies. This is spectacular. You have no visibility and you know something. Whoa. See? Case in point. It's always the Toyota. <laughs> it's always somebody in that Toyota Odyssey, I think, just coming up. Hey, <laughs> they, they recognize us. And now, maybe, can't really tell until you're in there. There you go. Here, hon, it's one of these really cool bridges. It is it's like one of these a, cool bridges. It's like a log bridge. That is cool. Over the bridge. This is like a little uh, matchbox Yay. car playset kind of deal. <laughs> well, yeah, it is. got on the wildlife loop in Custer State Park and we're already seeing buffalo. Bison. 
Bison. So yeah, we've been on here less than a mile and now we can go home, right? Let's take a picture. Runs. Are you curious? Are you a curious buffalo? I know. It's a curious one. The others are like, oh heck no. Hey, sweet thing. Got a piece of hay in your mouth. He had his tongue hanging out like Gene Simmons. <laughs> These are the descendants of the burrows that were kind of let loose after the miners didn't uh, need them anymore. Or their descendants let themselves loose and they could live off the land just fine, I guess. Looks like broken glass all over the trail, but it's not. Just everything's so glittery and shiny. It's so pretty here. Oh, whoa. Two of them have tracking collars. Yeah. Spearfish Canyon, folks. And there's a cave in them, their hills. That is cool. He's a short tempered ADD problem kid. Never can know or see where the problem is. It's crazy, my yeah. Trust me, sit still for story time. What do you think of this place? It's cool. Oh, wow. Doing a walk around, we noticed that we have got a pretty bad bulge in this tire. That's why you check your tires every time. So, we might have to swap it out really quick before we hit the road. The good news is our spare is the same size and right now it's a C rated so putting the other tire on would give us a D rated spare which is perfect so I'll replace the two rear ones. The blow out on the highway is a terrible thing. <laughs> we definitely had the whirlwind tour of the Black Hills and we're staying at the Rapid City Cabela's just now hitching up. 
We really appreciate Cabela's. We ate at Lizzie's Burgers in Deadwood, probably the best like burger and shake after trail meal I've ever had. It was awesome. And then we got to see the Deadwood shows and you know, it's kitschy, but it's cool. Lots of history, lots of fun. Wyoming is our next stop. Finally making it to Wyoming, yay! We're gonna hit up Devil's Tower and then we're gonna stay in Gillette a few days and catch up on things that we need to catch up on. Visit Our Wyoming Life, which is a much better YouTuber than us. Lord willing, we'll make it finally to Wyoming. Upon returning directly behind Wild Bill, suddenly Jack McCall the bullet struck Bill on the back of the head, coming out of his left cheek, and lodged in Captain Massey's left arm. It was discovered soon after the cards Bill was holding were aces and eights, forever known as the dead man's hand. Oh, poop in two. That's great.